nettle, or better known as stinging nettle. The stems are nasty little buggers that have some stinging chemicals that are none too pleasant to come in contact with. <laughs> And you want me to drink this as a tea? Y'all crazy? Well, once it's in your cup, thankfully, all of those stinging qualities are nullified. So, this is all supposed to be good for me, right? You bet your sweet bippy. And today on Eccentric Nature, we're talking all about the health benefits of stinging nettle tea. Pain and arthritis benefits. Nettle tea is a great anti-inflammatory that helps with a variety of different pains, especially achy joints. And there have been various studies backing this up, too. The Arthritis Foundation says nettle tea may help the pain associated with osteoarthritis. Studies also show that nettle tea can work alongside various non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs to help reduce the amount of NSAIDs that people are taking. Now, as to whether it can actually reduce the NSAIDs you're taking, the jury's still out on that. Urinary tract health. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. And those who are yet to make up your mind. Urinary tract problems can stop you in your tracks. Nettle is a natural diuretic and can help flush out evil bacteria and toxins from your system. It's especially beneficial for the urinary condition called BPH, or benign prostatic hyperplasia. In fact, a 2013 study found nettle helped lower BPH symptoms in men. More on that later. A 2014 study study on rats in molecular medicine also showed that nettle can reduce calcium oxalate crystals in the kidneys. Well, wow, there's a tongue twister for you. Say it five times fast. Calcium oxalate crystals. Yeah, see, it doesn't work. And why do you want to prevent calcium crystals? Well, because it helps reduce the possibility of kidney stones. And that's another condition that's none too pleasant for anybody who's experienced it. I've got some friends who've had it. It's not fun. Treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia. BPH, or benign prostatic hyperplasia, is better known as an enlarged prostate, and it's responsible for causing lots of urinary problems. But thanks to nettle tea, you can look that BPH straight in the eye and say, mosey on from here, cowboy. You're not welcome in this saloon anymore. Does that work without the cowboy hat? I kind of feel like I need one. Studies on nettle have shown that it can help BPH symptoms compared to a placebo. And in combination with sol palmetto, one study showed that it was as effective as the BPH medication finasteride. And a study published in the Iranian Red Crescent Medical Journal showed that patients who use nettle tea showed a significant decrease in the size of their prostate and a lessening of their symptoms as well. Heart health. Nettle contains various minerals, large amounts of vitamin A and C, beta carotene, and other carotenoids as well as great flavonoids like quercetin and camphorol. All of these babies are great boosters of red blood cell production, help prevent anemia, lower the risk of cardiovascular problems, and can help lower blood pressure too. A study in the Scientific World Journal found that nettle tea has phenolic compounds that can help lower blood pressure and reduce strain on the heart. Nettle tea's anti-inflammatory properties can also help reduce the risk of heart disease. Antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. A study in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology found that nettle tea may help prevent infections. Researchers also found that nettle tea was excellent at preventing ulcers caused by alcohol consumption. Now this does not by any means mean that you should consume excess alcohol just cause you're having that cup of nettle tea. Yeah, I see what you're thinking. Does that even make sense? I see what you're thinking. Nettle tea has even been shown to inhibit the nine dastardly microorganisms that cause various health problems in humans. These include big name diseases like tuberculosis, malaria, chicken pox, measles, and even things like ringworm and athlete's foot. Eye health. All right, now I've already mentioned that nettle tea contains beta carotene and vitamin A, which as many people know is known to protect eye health. But did you know? A study in food science and nutrition found that nettle leaves have 10 times more carotenoids than wheat or barley flour. Impressive. Yeah, it is until you put it next to basil, which has three times the amount of vitamin A that nettle has. So... Well, at least nettle has more potassium, calcium, and vitamin K, so take that, basil. Allergies and hay fever benefits. 
This is another big winner for nettle tea. Its antihistamine properties are one of the first things that introduced me to nettle tea and singing nettle in the first place. A study in phytotherapy research found that nettle extracts hold off those enzymes that trigger allergic responses in people. That means it can not only help with hay fever type allergies, as backed up by another 2017 study, but it could also help limit things like hives and eczema as well. Now all this said, the NCCIH says they still need more evidence to officially declare that stinging nettle and nettle tea are truly effective for allergies. <sighs> Alas. But it doesn't mean you can't give it a shot. It could work for you. I'm saying. Other possible benefits. Now there are a variety of other benefits that anecdotal evidence and limited research says could be helped by nettle tea. So let's do the old roundup and see what's in the corral. When did this become the Wild West Nettle Show? These benefits include mental acuity, shiny hair, help with acne, anemia, and various digestive ailments like constipation, diarrhea, and upset stomach. It's also supposed to stop evil oxidative stress that breaks down your cells. And also help with various feminine issues like menopause symptoms, regulating menstrual flow, and helping with milk production for nursing mothers. So don't you worry, little lady, nettle tea's gonna send those bandits packing. Does it work without the hat? Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll just add one in the graphics. Finally, there's limited research that shows that nettle tea can lower blood sugar levels and help with diabetes. So how do you make nettle tea? It's really very simple. Add one or two teaspoons of dried nettle to some boiling water, then wait five to ten minutes. And voila! Frankly, by itself, it's not the best. I really find it tastes better when it's combined with other herbs. A simple blend of nettle and fennel is actually quite wonderful. Though it really works well blended with any number of other herbs as well. Side effects. Now, as I mentioned, nettle tea can lower your blood pressure. So if that's something that's not good for you, then there's a possibility of it causing fainting, drowsiness, or dizziness. While it has many benefits for women, there isn't much evidence for or against saying how it will affect them during pregnancy. So you'll just need to be careful about the amount you use when you're pregnant. There have also been limited reports about people having stomach aches after having nettle tea. But again, these were very limited cases. While nettle tea won't cause these problems, it's important to remember that stinging nettle is that prickly leaf that can cause some nasty burning, itching, and rash problems. So if you're picking and handling fresh leaves to make your nettle tea, please just do so carefully. There are also those usual precautions you should make sure to consult your doctor with on if you're on medications like blood thinning drugs, diuretics, alpha blockers, anti-inflammatory drugs, blood pressure drugs, and finasteride. Basically, anything that I said nettle tea helps you with, as you normally don't want to have nettle tea at the same time as prescription drugs without some medical advice. Another rare possibility is that nettle could affect estrogen levels, and in rare cases, cause one male to develop breast tissue and a female who developed nipple discharge. So if anything like this starts happening to you, just stop the nettle tea, consult a doctor. So this may sound like a lot of side effects, but really most of these are rare cases that won't affect most people or can be avoided just by being smart about how much nettle tea you're having. Generally, it's suggested, like many herbal teas, to have only three cups of nettle tea per day. In that amount, any side effects you might experience will quickly subside once you stop using the tea. Hey, and that's it. All you need to do now is be kind, take care of each other, and enjoy some nettle tea. And be careful if you're handling those stinging nettles. They are not fun when they sting you. 